this little teeny tiny frosted crackle quartz speed. Eight millimeter. It's the size of a chickpea, barely. Oh, I almost lost it. This little tiny bead, and you can even go smaller than this, and just maybe a foot and a half of 20 gauge wire. I'm using silver plated, but you don't have to. You can use any kind of copper based wire. Just simple, round, dead soft, you know, whatever those descriptions are. I didn't even know what half of them were. I was just buying this craft wire and putting this one single bead to the middle of the wire, you can make a gift for a friend and it takes you almost no time at all. And it takes almost no skill. You just put the bead in the middle like this and then you just crimp it like that. You wrap it around maybe a couple times. You don't have to, you can. It's like that. And you know, when you're happy with how many times you wrapped it around, then you go up here, pinch it tight and pull it around to make a loop like that. And then how big do you want the loop? And make a few of these, make a bunch of them. Give them. This is to give as a gift to a friend. This is my assignment to you. Make it a gift for no occasion. Not their birthday, it's not a holiday. You can call this, you can refer to this as the Stevie Wonder style. And if you know Stevie Wonder, you know why. This is a gift you're gonna to give to a friend or relative for no occasion, just to say that I'm thinking about you and I wanna do something nice for you, okay? So I'm gonna roll this even tighter, even tighter, tiniest little thing. Now I'm gonna come around like this. And I've done this in a video before almost this exact same, maybe this exact same one, but maybe you can't find that video. So you get to watch this one. And pulling tight, I'm trying to keep the strands tight together like this, not let them roll over top of each other. If they do, you know, that's not the end of the world. It just, but I'm kind of pulling this loop a little bit over the bead, just a little bit, not too much. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna bend it backwards the opposite way to make the next loop, pinching the strands again. And again, I'm gonna roll it, get it about the size I want, and about the same size as that one, maybe, if you want. You make a few of these and see how you like them. And now you could just finish it, or you could do another loop. Sometimes I like to do another loop to balance it. But this time, I, th I think I'm just gonna finish it. I'm just gonna pull that in tight like this, come around like this, and it's a little, it's not symmetrical, it's a little off balance, which is fine. You have this little loop here, you have this curve sticking out here, and that's fine. It's all fine because it's just I'm not trying to make it anything amazing. It's just something simple. And if you give somebody something simple that they weren't expecting for any particular reason, it doesn't have to be phenomenal. It can just be something. And they will be so grateful. And they will think it's cute. And they will think that you're super sweet and wonderful. And, you know, you're not doing it so they'll think you're great. You're just doing it to make them happy. But they will think you're great. Now, you wrap it around once or twice. You don't want to come up too high, but that's the end of it. And I didn't even need all the rest of this wire. You could have done this with one foot of wire, maybe less. And that's like one third of a meter for people in meter land. Now, um, I think I want to cut that a little bit, a little bit more. Carefully, don't shoot the little bits at your face. And I'm just going to push these in, push them towards that little bowl I made right there, and then turn and push them down down in there to tuck them so those sharp ends never come out to scratch anyone. And you check the front, it looks cool, it's cute, right? It's a little off center. I wanna roll this a little tighter, like that. So I want this shoulder to really stick out, to balance. This, this is sticking out this way and that little loop is coming down that way. So it's like, it's not symmetrical, but it's still balanced, like the weight of, every, of the whole thing is balanced. See, those loops are not perfect. I like that. I like how they're a little bit off. See, this is this loop is not perfect. It's a little on a diagonal. I like that. I like the whole thing like that. I'm going to roll this even a tiny bit tighter. Make that loop a little smaller. And that also pushes the shoulder out. Now I'm just playing with it. I also want it to lay flat. See, I don't want to do that. I want it to lay a little more flat. So I'm going to bend it a little more like this so the bead is sticking out more. So see if it'll lay a little, it's laying a little more flat now. Don't have to make it perfect. It is going to kind of dance around the person, the person's chest who's wearing it. But I kind of want it to stay. Okay, that's kind of laying more flat. Now just put one, two, or three 
little uh, jump rings at the top there and a pretty silver chain and you're done. And there's a cute little gift. Just one bead and it doesn't have to be this frosted white bead which goes great with silver. It could be any color you want and you're done. And you made this cute little gift for someone and you could knock out one every five minutes once you get the hang of it and you can give these to a whole bunch of friends. And just how fun is that to just make someone's, hap someone's happy, someone's day happy like for no reason, out of nowhere. Like this is the friendship necklace heard of a friendship bracelet. This is a friendship necklace, but it's also the Stevie Wonder necklace. And again, you should know why. If you don't know why, ask your friend, why would giving somebody something out of nowhere for no occasion be called the Stevie Wonder necklace? And look, look how I can turn the, still turn the bead in there. It's kind of cool. This little crackle quartz, it looks like the moon. It's kind of cool. You can find these at some art stores. Anyway, Again, you can use a smaller bead. You can use a different bead. Whatever. Have fun. Make these for all your friends. But don't kill yourself. Just do one friend to start, just to make them happy. Maybe a week later, do one or two more friends. It's super fun. Maybe throw it in the mail. You can mail this for, like, just a couple bucks. It weighs almost nothing. All right, see you guys soon.